Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play the Catacomb Apocalypse 3D! And when last we left off, we're in a random access conduit in the computer core. And here are robots, which surprises pretty much no one. Because the robots are plentiful and numerous and very, very deadly here. Alright, peek around. There is another one, and by one I mean two, because there is a second one there. But we can probably whittle down the first one, and then defeat the second one with copious amounts of zappers. There we go! They have been dealt with, and there are a lot more of them now. A lot more, and I think now is time for exterminators before we get exterminated ourselves. We need a key that I imagine will be down here that will let us uh, either open the door to the exit or uh, let us get through the exit. One or the other, you can never be uh, quite sure with this game. Sometimes the exit doesn't even need a key, but I imagine this one being a computer core most certainly will. It's not like it's a sewer at all, because the sewers most certainly did not need keys. Except for that one sewer that did need a key. Hmm. Alright. Through here we go, very, very carefully. Very carefully indeed. There we are, one more dealt with, and I imagine there are more enemies around this corner than the one that we already know is there. Or was there. Yep, there are two more. There is a zapper for you, and exterminators apiece. Just to get rid of that one so we can uh, safely deal with this one. And we are at 25% health, which is a really unhealthy amount of health for us. But we haven't found any more uh, cure potions. We have found a key, though, and keys are always good. This key is probably exceptionally important, much like the blue key that we have. The red key we've kind of uh, been holding on to for all this time, I imagine at some point will be useful for us. I don't think we're meant to be holding on to it. I think the final area we haven't been to is here. And yep, because we found that enemy, I can confirm it. Also, these enemies are nasty and I want to get rid of them very, very quickly. And I mean very quickly. There we go, where are you? You are over there. And you deal quite a lot of damage if we let you. Because of that lightning attack that you have. There we go, one more dealt with. Any more? There's one over there and one there and one there. We need to get rid of these right now. Right now! That one is gone, and this one will be gone very soon as well. There we are! All of them dealt with. Well, hopefully, anyway. Any more? One over here, maybe? No, you have all been dealt with. Brilliant. And this is the blue key door? And in here, more enemies? Of course more enemies, but I imagine a lot more than just one. We need to be very, very careful, take advantage of the corners, and any more? There are two more at the very least, there are three enemies in here. And in your own time, enemies, we will uh, collectively obliterate you. Everhail, and the zappers, and the exterminators, and the magic missiles. All of the magic collectively as one extremely devastating package of destruction. And here is the way out. The green key is used, and a new challenge awaits us. But what kind of challenge, I hear you ask? Well, the central chamber of the... Oh, that is terrible. The central chamber of the invisible horrors. That sounds really bad. Also, we really need to obliterate this. There we go. It is gone. Let's see what's over here. What did that say? Uh, Beware that which you cannot see. Watch the crystal sphere for dangers. Ah, they're on the map. So we need to be very, very careful. Very, very careful. And there they are, on the map indeed. The uh, Crystal Sphere did warn us, and they are nasty. They hit very hard indeed. Where are they, though? Is there one here? There is an enemy there, certainly, but perhaps not the enemy we were expecting. No, indeed not. The Hall of Hidden Terror. Also, there apparently is an enemy... Nope, there is not an enemy. There is a uh, ball of energy, though, we need to destroy. Didn't know that was a kind of enemy, but it is. And there is one of the invisible horrors there. They are indeed invisible until you actually hit them. Which is mean. If you think about it, um, if you didn't know one was there, it would just... Uh-oh! It would just destroy you. 
There are a lot of these around that corner, and we need to be very careful of them. I think that, yep, they are the red dots here. The red dots on the, oh, and they hurt. They really hurt if you let them get close. Really, really hurt. And that was a uh, secret wall there, which is uh, nice to know. The access to the northern subchambers there, and uh, more damaged walls, which has another one of those enemies, which we need to be very, very careful of. Hello! I'm not going to let you pass, because you're probably going to try to... Aha! More power-ups. We really, really need some power-ups. Any more? No, it would seem not there, but what about here? Ah, there is one of those eye things. Guarding some treasure, as they should be, I imagine. Not bad, a cure potion. We really need more of them. And I imagine the damaged walls here are the, yep, the secret walls that we're going to use to, um, explore around. Very, very carefully. We need to find some keys and, uh, use those keys to open doors, I wager. Just like all the other levels. Any of the, uh, hidden invisible horrors here? No, it would seem not, but there are more, um, treasure chests full of items, and I really like that. Okay, moving on. And around here is even more loot. Excellent. Okay, let's move around the corner. Hello! Ah, there was an invisible one. Did you see it very, very briefly? And I mean very briefly it was there. They hurt a lot, I imagine, if uh, I let them get really close and uh, stay there for a long time. There is the exit chamber. We cannot yet access that at all, I wager. So we're going to... Oh, careful. We're going to go around here, and we're going to deal with you. You have been dealt with, and now we need to deal with uh, that fireball there. Oh, nearly. Nearly. And we accidentally blew something up, which probably wasn't so bad. Another hidden subchamber. Full of more eye enemies? No, full of nothing. Hmm. Maybe we've already been in here. Or maybe there genuinely is... I think we've probably already been in here. So this is the, uh... We can uh, sort of go in here, but uh, the southern chambers, but I imagine there are going to be a lot of enemies, the invisible kind. Yep, there's one right there, and they move very, very fast indeed, but they don't have much durability. I think a uh, zapper would quite comfortably deal with them. Anything in here worth looking at? More loot, maybe? More keys, maybe? Ah, there's an enemy right there. Hello. How are you? You are not really going to hurt me at all. There we go. Anyone else want to try and kill Everhale? It is a terrible mistake. Absolutely terrible. Would not recommend it. Out of all the enemies that have faced Everhale in the long run, none of them have lived. None of them at all. What about here? There is a diverging path. There is one way here, which leads to absolutely nothing. So there isn't a diverging path at all. Aha! One enemy there, though, guarding a red key. And soon to be not guarding a red key, as that enemy is... Oh! There is one there, too! I have no idea how you got there, but I really don't like the... Oh, dear! That was nasty, but you have been defeated. And that is good. All right. Now I think we want to move over to another one of the uh, areas. I don't know which one yet, but uh, we'll find out soon enough. Okay, we have one key. Actually, we have uh, two keys, technically, because we already had that key, but uh, it's always nice to go and uh, use the um, key on the level, just in case the very last level has something that we can uh, use that key on, because then we could just bypass loads of things. Okay, that's the southern chamber. What about over here? The southwestern chamber. Anything in here? Like lots of enemies that will try and kill me? Well, not here, anyway. Here? Maybe. Ah! A wall. What about behind the wall? Ah, there is an enemy there. Yes, there is. Hello! You are going to perish before you get the chance, there we go, to kill me, because you'd certainly try you'd probably succeed, too. Oh, more walls? Anything round here? It would seem not, but looking behind us first would probably have been a better... Ah! Hello! 
There are two enemies there, and I really don't like that there are two of them. Because that is going to... Aha! Exterminators are really, really good against them, I've just discovered, because uh, one use of the exterminator destroyed that invisible horror. And behind here was loot, and loot is always great. No cure potions, though, but that's alright. We don't have half as many exterminators as we did before, though, in uh, Armageddon. So we need to be very careful. The zappers, however, we have a plentiful supply. Is there anything else in here? There is something over here, though. Hello, an invisible enemy? Yes, there is indeed an invisible enemy that we are going to back away from really quickly. Clearly, this is the work of Nemesis, because Nemesis would most certainly do that. Anything Nemesis could do to get an advantage, I'm sure Nemesis would do. Except maybe use a gun. I imagine Nemesis is still not going to use a gun, even now. And there appears to be nothing in here whatsoever. Which seems really odd, but maybe some of the uh, areas behind the hidden walls are little more than traps full of enemies. What about here? Aha! I see you there, Mr. Enemy! Hiding away, most sneakily. Now you are dead. And may you never try to kill me ever again. Which you probably won't. Is there anything in here? The answer is a resounding no. Nothing at all. There's got to be something in here worth looking for, though. Maybe more loot? Maybe more... something? I'll take treasure. Treasure's fine. There's a door here. And it just opens up, uh, probably to the main area. Maybe not, though. For now, I'm going to keep exploring around here just in... Nope, nothing there either. What about here? Nothing here. Aha! Something here! Something here that needs to die right now. And die you indeed did. Should have died a bit faster, though. Should have been a bit more quick on the uh, draw, though. Like that. You are not going to get a chance. Not like the other one did. Alright, anything around here? The answer is a resounding no. Not at all. Hmm. What about over here? Damaged wall leads to a whole a lot of uh, seemingly nothing. This place is just full of a resounding amount of nothing. But I suppose Nemesis might finally be learning now and uh, not giving me tons and tons of power-ups everywhere. That is probably the best way to an aha! Hello, how are you? You are now dead. Brilliant. A good way to make sure we don't uh, absolutely obliterate him. And now, here is another area with a key. And a, a selection of power-ups. A cure potion. Very nice. I like to uh, get more of those. We need to get out of here, though, and uh, move on to a different area. Probably an area that has uh, use for these keys, because we haven't found anywhere that needs keys just yet. Alright, I think I want to go this way, and around here. No guarantee about that, though. With uh, no map, I could get horribly, horribly lost, but I need to remember that most of the, of the uh, diversions are complete and total dead ends that will lead nowhere. So, uh, we just go the other way instead, like this way, for instance. Here we go. Back round here, round here, and was there a door nearby? There might have been a door. How many more keys do I need to find? Probably not many. Alright, let's find a, uh, a way out. Is this a way out? No, that's a way to a grand total of nothing. Hmm. And the... Ooh! Secret stuff. Anything in here? The answer is a resounding no. Nothing. And so, Everhale was forever lost in a series of tunnels and corridors. Ah, we are getting pretty close to the... Uh, there we go. We are now here, which is much better. And now we need to go, I think, to a uh, different location. We've been there. Have we been here? I don't know. Well, we haven't, because we haven't used the red key. And there are a few enemies in here that we need to obliterate right now. There we go. Excellent. And there is another one here. I think a uh, exterminator was a good plan there. And there's one of those lightning eyes that we uh, have now dealt with. Anything else in here? 
possibly. Ah, yes, there is something else in here. An enemy that we most certainly want to, there we go, to kill. Anything else? Hello, Mr. Eye Monster! You will not even get a chance to fire your lightning of doom. And in here is loot. Not very much loot, but loot is always... Aha! I saw you there on the map trying to be sneaky. I didn't see you fast enough, but you were certainly there. Alright, what about over here? Anything else here? Let's have a look. Yes, there most certainly is. There is you. And you have now perished, which is, uh, very nice indeed. And you also will perish. Perhaps a little slower than the other enemy, but you will still perish. Okay. And there is you. Not surprisingly, this is a reflection. But we need to find, uh, a key, I think. Probably need to find a key anyway. Anything in here? Ooh, a destroyed wall, which has in it... A key. Brilliant. That's what we were looking for. Anything else here? No. So I think we will just, uh, move over here and, uh, find another door we haven't opened. There was that door we haven't opened, and there's nothing here. There is something over there, though, so we're gonna have to, uh, go around and see what we can find. Okay, not in there, though, because uh, we've accidentally walked into a uh, small hidden area. What about round here? Ah, a door we have not yet opened, and I most certainly am going to save here, because the worst thing we could do is die in here. And the red key has been used, and in here is a grand total, apparently, of... Ah! An enemy that is trying to sneak up on us. Okay, a lot of enemies that are trying to sneak up on us. That is a really bad thing. There are multiple of you, and I'm going to back up as soon as I can to uh, make sure that you don't kill me, because you move really, really fast. Really fast indeed. Hello, how are you? You are not going to get a chance to claw at me because I know how to backspace away from you. There is a explodey thing here that we need to be careful of. And another one of you! Hello! Oh, there's another two of you! That's kinda bad. That's kinda very bad. Okay, that's you dealt with and you dealt with, hopefully. Nope, not yet. Now you've been dealt with, and now we can deal with you, because this, uh, explodey thing, there we go, was in the way of the exit. And in here? is the way out to a new challenge that awaits us. Let's see what's in here, shall we? The answer is a grand total of not a lot. There is an encounter chamber, apparently, which I imagine is going to be full of enemies. But first, it's full of these uh, weird sort of explodey things that are uh, going to just be a little annoying until I destroy them. Like that, for instance. That one is gone, but there is another one here that I want to get rid of by following it and just pelting it with attacks. There we go. It's gone. Any more? One more. This one here. Hello. How are you? We want to be very careful not to blow up these uh, time things here and try and find our way to the exit. Like this. Oh dear, there are lots of robots in here. That may be a very, very bad thing indeed that I've just done. Fortunately, robots are not the worst enemy that could be around this corner. There could have been the um, other robots, the ones that uh, do a lot more damage. These ones aren't half as bad, and there aren't that many of them either. Also, I'm very lucky I didn't accidentally blow up that uh, power-up there, the uh, ability to freeze time. In fact, using that might be a very good idea right now, so I'm going to go there and grab it. There we go. Now that has happened, so I think uh, a zapper here... A zapper here might be good, and maybe a zapper around here while I go and quickly find out how many more enemies are in there. How many more enemies are in here? Let's find out. The answer is, uh, none, apparently. None at all. So that is just a very small area. We're just gonna wait here. While time is stopped, nothing can hurt us at all. Except maybe time itself. No, wait, not even time can hurt us here. We could walk into the enemy projectiles and nothing bad will happen at all. How many of you are going to survive? A few of you. Well, one of you died horribly, and the other one is going to die horribly, and that one died horribly. Brilliant. And we narrowly avoided hitting that thing. The 
storage chamber, however, has a lot of nice things in it that we most certainly are going to grab. Aha! Even more loot! And loot is brilliant! There we are! Two more, that one had nothing in it, and that one had something in it. Okay, there is that that I want to get rid of now, most certainly. Let's just deal with this now, shall we? There is another one of these power-ups, and another one of these walls that is full of the, um, alien-like demon things that really aren't that difficult compared to the, um, ones we've encountered before, the, um, invisible ones. Those ones were far nastier, and this is a massive, massive arena where we can just avoid every single one of these that we encounter, so really, this isn't that hard at all. I imagine it was designed to be rather hard, but we have so much, um, ammunition here in the terms of our spells that, uh, yep, that pretty much was, uh, rather easy. There we go. Is that all of them? I think that might be all of them. And the answer is, yeah, that was all of them. Okay, what about in here? Loads and loads of loot. I think it's preparing us for some kind of final encounter pretty soon. Yeah, I think that's pretty much happening. Most certainly. Okay, what about in the final area? There is one more here. What about here? It's full of both of them! This does not surprise me, because uh, that is pretty much to be expected. Also, we want to be very careful that we don't get killed by the ranged attacks that are there, because the ranged attacks are actually rather, rather nasty, especially mixed in with all of the uh, enemies that attack up close. There we go, we want to be a little careful, caution is always advised, just in case that you don't want to get um, pinned in by those uh, pillars there. There is a ranged enemy right there that we want to destroy right now. There we go, one less ranged enemy to deal with, and I think we just have a very, very small amount of the uh, melee enemies here. If this is the best that Nemesis can do, we can most certainly defeat him. Or this is likely not the best that Nemesis can do, and there is probably much, much worse in store for us. Much, much worse. And here is a time chamber that probably has one of those time portals. Somewhere? Maybe? Maybe not. Hmm. I wonder where it is. There it is! Hello! How are you? We're just gonna grab all these, they might have more cure potions and exterminators. And when we come back, folks, we're gonna go into that time chamber, and maybe we'll finally encounter Nemesis and defeat him once and for all. Maybe. I mean, if we defeat him with time travel, surely there's nothing else he can do. Right? Then I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.